How do? Time for another video review. It's Friday challenge time. It's bank holiday here. It's Good Friday, so it's a Good Friday because I don't have to go to work. But no, um, today's challenge is being set by Chris M. Chris M has asked me to do Adnams Broadside, so this will be the second Adnams on the channel. I did one for Halloween where I was dressed up as Jigsaw and did the ghost ship. And um, this is 6.3%. Now, I've never had this bottle and I've always been put off by the bottle because I had it on cask. It was 4.7%. I had it in the beehive in Carlisle and it's a, it's a solid um, pub for, in terms of its cask conditioning. You don't have the most exciting ranges sometimes, but um, yeah, it was a well-kept pint. But I, I put it on, I double-checked on untapped before I did this and I've wrote overly malty for me in the comments and I had this back in 2017 so I've never had the B since I've definitely never had the stronger version so um, in, a, in a kind of weird way I'm looking forward to this Friday challenge to see how it holds up whether my taste buds have changed since 2017 which I think they have and, um, and we'll take it from there so there's a crown regular Adam's crown Let's get this beer out into the glass. Adnan's very traditional brewery in the UK. Um, they do do, they do dip the toes in the crafty things. I remember they did like a QQ melon sour, which wasn't really to my taste. But um, beer glass, I'm gonna go with a chestnut colour. There is a red cube to it. Uh, off white head, more beige. Can't see any carbonation going up get the nose getting uh, like a raisin like dates plum a touch of maybe toffee it doesn't smell too bad right let's dive in cheers everybody It's not too bad. Um, it's very cakey. I'm getting like raisins, um, like peel, apple, um, sultanas. Yeah, real apple flavours coming out of it, and um, toffee. And um, it's quite nice. Very slight bitter finish ever so slight there it's got a good body on it uh, and it's quite a nice beer the 6.3 percent is deceptively hidden i would have thought it was around maybe a four and a half five percent so um yeah it's not a bad beer um as far as like tr as far as a traditional supermarket beer goes i mean i picked this up in sainsbury's you can get it i've definitely seen it in morrison's i've definitely seen it in um uh, tesco so this is readily available here in the UK it's not a bad beer I'm, I quite like it and it isn't overly malty for me as I said on the 4.7% so um, thank you Chris for um, suggesting this beer to me because like I say I would never have went for it and I'm glad I've tried it because I don't mind it it's not a bad beer um, so this has been quite an enjoyable Friday challenge for me to actually get a beer that I was a little bit sceptical about and find something that's decent. So, um, and I'm prepared to give the 4.7% cask a second chance. Now, I'll give it another go if I see it in a pub. So, um, I don't see why not. So, yeah, that is Adam's Broadside. Not a bad beer. Um, I'll add that to my Friday challenge playlist. I'll stick it in my Sainsbury's one as well because that's where I bought it. So keep the challenges coming. Uh, thanks for watching and on to the next one. Cheers.